Hi, my name is Kevin Good. I'm a pianist and composer. Today I'm going to continue talking about Weiss. Okay, the previous video I gave you guys just an overview of Weiss. Today we're going to dig in a little bit deeper. We're going to talk about one item today and that item is importing audio into Weiss. Okay, so uh, my use of Weiss is in a recent project for uh, an app, a mobile app that I'm working on called Here and Now African Diaspora Trivia. I'll put a link down in the in the description. We needed an efficient way to integrate the audio into the app and WISE was the best solution for that. WISE can be used for PlayStation games, it can be used for mobile games, just a, a whole variety of things, but it's mostly interactive music. If you like this channel, please hit the like button and please subscribe and I hope to bring you more videos. But let's jump right into it and we're going to start importing some audio into WISE. So I'm going to come over here, we have the actor hierarchy of mixer and then we have the interactive mixer. So the actor mixer is for uh, gunshots, footsteps, uh, button clicks. It's for things that the user is going to interact with the game. For the music, the interactive music, uh, that's going to be for longer like ambi ambient music or different tracks and everything. So I'm going to right click right here and we're going to do it one of two ways. We can say new child and a musical segment and that music segment right there, I'm going to say Z music segment And from there, what I can do is I can drag and drop some audio files into the, or I can basically right click and import audio files and then search my hard drive and it's right there. And then hit open. And notice that they're all opening as musical tracks. And so that's great because I'm gonna be able to look at everything at once inside of the music segment editor. So as you can see, all of the tracks are right there. Had I, in, had I just imported it a different way, like basically import audio files and add them all right here. Notice now they're, in, they're importing them as individual musical segments. So once that import happens, uh, look at what we have. Each, each segment is only one track. So that would be kind of a pain. Uh, then I'd have to click get into the track. I can basically click and open up and drag all of the individual musical segments into one um, musical segment, but that's why, why do needless work. Uh, okay, so we come back over here and we have the tracks. Uh, and then here we, we can edit the tracks, but that's basically how you import audio into Weiss. Um, inside of the music segment editor, you have your endpoint and your outpoint. You can adjust these as you'd like. And then the endpoint, if you do not um, hold down the control key, like I'm not holding down the control key, it moves everything over. So if you hold down the control key, then you can move the endpoint and then you can have a pre, you know, a pre endpoint. And then you can have a post uh, outpoint. So that way, if you're working with transitions or singers or different things that you might be working with, um, those are reasons to use those, which you will be using those, trust me. And then the next thing, uh, you can create subtracks. You can have a random step track or a sequence step track. So I'll say random for right now. And then if I come over here, then right click and then add a subtract. And what that means is Weiss will, anything that's within this subtract group, Weiss will select one track or the other. It'll play a different track each time. So that's really cool and really handy to have. And you can have multiple subtracks. So you can just keep adding to your heart's desire. Uh, you can hit the delete key to the delete subtracks. Uh, the other thing is uh, when you're working with the music segment editor, if you hold down control, you can adjust the zoom with the scroll on the mouse. If you hold down control shift, you can also adjust the zoom. So that way it makes it easier to navigate everything. And then um, if you double click in the space down here at the bottom, you can add a new music track right there. If you wanna see the, the properties for one of your musical tracks, you can just double click the track. And then right here, it's 48K, 4.4 megabytes, 16 uh, seconds duration. And I know that it is 24 bit, uh, you can basically import all the way up to 96K, but I, I believe that Weiss will only read up to 24-bit. It can read, um, I think is it, uh, yeah, I think it only reads up to 24-bit, but you, you can investigate that. 
Uh, all right, so that's it. I wanted to keep this one shorter than the last one. Um, you have the actor hierarchy mixer. If you were to import there, you, it works the exact same way. Right click, import files, or you can create um, basically a sound effects object or a sound voice. Sound effects object are going to be for buttons, etc. Uh, anything in the um, actor mixer. But sound voice is going to be for um, the music, inter interactive music. Okay, so I hope that this is a quick and short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'll, I'll respond to any of the questions in the comments. And um, yeah, I hope to be bringing you more videos soon. All right, have a great day.